Good morning, children. Let me just ask you some questions. If you want to buy a pencil, which cost is eight rupees, how much money you will take to buy that pencil? Exactly eight rupees. No, we'll take ten rupees, isn't it? Yes. Let's see one more example. On your birthday, you want to distribute chocolates to all your friends. Okay. So class twenty is twenty eight. How much? How many chocolates you will buy? Exactly twenty eight. No, we will buy thirty chocolates. So what we are doing here? We are rounding off the twenty-eight to nearest tens. That is thirty. We are taking the approximate number which is nearest to the actual number. Yes. So today our topic is rounding off numbers. So rounding off numbers in real life, we round off the numbers to make our calculations easier and faster. Yes. So rounding off, rounding off means in the word itself is telling something. Rounding off means round. You have to round something. Round means circle. Okay. So first one, rounding off to nearest tens. We will see now. Rounding off to. nearest tens let's take the same example that is 28 28 chocolates that example i'm taking the number okay 28 remember one thing whenever you are rounding off to nearest tens in ones place if you have 0 1 2 3 or 4 you will round off the ones place and the tens place will remains the same okay and suppose in ones place if you have 5 6 7 8 or 9 ones place will become 0 and this tens place you will add 1 to the tens place that means 2 plus 1 that is 3 okay so now we have 8 here so rule number 2 What is that? If you have five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you will round off one's place, and to this tens place you will add one. So two plus one, that is three. Okay. So we are rounding twenty-eight to the nearest ten, that is thirty. Clear? Now, let's see one more method, that is on the number line. So. On the number, take a number line. Okay, the twenty-eight. Twenty-eight lies between twenty and thirty. Yes. So middle number twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay. So. Now these all from here to here we will round it off to twenty. From here to here, whatever digit, whatever number we have, we will round it off to thirty. Okay. So now we have twenty-eight. So twenty-eight. Where is twenty-eight? So this side twenty-eight we have. So we will round it off to thirty. So twenty-eight rounded off to. Thirty. Okay. Let's see one more example. Take forty. Forty. So in one's place, what we have four. So rule number one. What is that? Zero, one, two, three, or four. This one's place will remain. Will make as zero, and this tenth place. Remains same. That is one. So fourteen rounded off to ten. Now let's see some more examples. We will now we will take three-digit number. Okay. So third example. Take any three-digit number. 
254. Now, so here what we, what you have to do this once a place you have to make it as zero, and this tens a place will depend on once a place, and this hundreds place remains same. Okay, so this 254 are rounded off to. How much? No, once a place we have to make at zero. Tens a place will depend on ones a place. No, we have four here. So tens a place will remain same. Five and hundreds place same. You're not going to change anything in hundreds place. So now two hundred and fifty four rounded off to two hundred and fifty. Take one more example. Seven hundred and forty nine. Seven hundred and forty nine. Now this seven hundred and forty nine rounded off to how much? That depends on once a place. So once a place we have zero uh, nine here. So we will make is make this once place at zero. And this tenth place will depend on once place. Okay, once place we have nine, so we have to add one to tenth place. Okay, so four plus one, five. And this hundreds place remains same. We are not changing anything in hundreds place. Clear? Now, rounding off to nearest hundreds. Rounding off to nearest hundreds. So, in this nearest hundreds, what we will do? So, hundreds place we have to change, it will depend on tens place digit tens place value okay now tens and ones place we will make it as zero and the hundreds place will depend on the tens place value okay let's say with an example 370 now we have to round it off to nearest hundreds that will depend on tens place digit now we have here tens place is 7 we have 7 here so whenever we have 5 6 7 8 or 9 what we have to do we have to add 1 to hundreds place okay and this tens place and ones place will become 0 you have to make it as 0 Okay, so 370 rounded off to 2. this ones place and tens place we have to make it as 0 and this hundreds place will depend on one tens place. Okay, now tens place is 7. So we have to add 1 to hundreds place. So 3 plus 1, 4. Now let's see one more example. 547. 547. Same here also 547 rounded off to how much? It depends on tens place value. So tens place we have 4. So we will don't we no need to change hundreds place value so hundreds place same digit you have to take and this tens and ones places will become zero okay so for 547 rounded off to 500 let's see one more example 1764 okay 
so here also what you have to do hundreds place will change it will depends on tens place value okay and this thousands place remains same so 1764 rounded off to 1's place and 10's place we have to make it as 0 and this 100's place we have it depends on 10's place value so 10's place we have 4 sorry 6 so 6 6 means we have to add 1 to 100's place that means 7 plus 1 8 and this 1000 place will remains same that means 1 now 1764 rounded off to 1800 isn't it very easy children rounding of numbers is very easy so all the best practice well